know, it's your boy David Laurie Smith, experienced kind of sewer with the Smith list. We are back in the building, back in business, and today we're gonna have a little breakfast at this spot called Snooze. This is your boy, David Lark Smith. Experience kind of sort of the Smith list. I know it's been a minute, but things have been a little crazy, obviously, with the uh, with COVID and everything, but we are back in the game, and we are over here at a spot, an AM eatery by the name of Snooze. We're about to get it in. Hey, man, what's happening? Okay, so you have the barista, coffees, you can get a paper menu. I personally would prefer the phone because this way I know I'm the only one touching it. But hey, whatever it is, you have choices. Here you are. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It's green. <laughs> oh man, it's not a. It almost tastes kind of salty, but you taste every vegetable in there. It, it tastes healthy. It definitely tastes healthy. It's good too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you taste it all, man. Parsley, spinach. Kale. Kale. Lime or lemon. And lime. Ginger. No ginger. There's no ginger? Nope. What's that kick I'm tasting? Mm -hmm. They need to put a little green apple in there, man, to sweeten it up a little bit. Mind you, it is green juice. Yeah, okay. It's green juice, but it's, it's too green. Plates <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, are yeah. hot. Please be careful. Enjoy. Thank you. 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 Chicken yeah. sausage. Look at that sausage, man. Look at that. Oh, wow. Really? That's good. Oh my gosh, it's so flavorful. And it's not mince, it's almost like chopped chicken. And I can't put my finger on the spice in it. But I'll let you try it. I and like the potatoes. I, I like the potatoes. That's what like. I'm telling you. I had them before and they're good. Crispy outside. Soft on the inside, nicely seasoned but not over seasoned. Mm. Not peppery because I can't do that. And then they, the parsley on there, delish. The eggs are nice and fluffy, soft. See, that's yeah. the chunk that's in the chicken. Yeah, I can see those eggs, man. The eggs look good. Oh, it does. Yeah, man. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta say the potatoes are awesome. Like Michelle said, the they're cooked properly. A lot of times you can get your potatoes where they're like, they cook them so much on the flat top that they dry out. These are properly cooked. They've got that dynamic contrast that you look for in a in, in something that's fried, where it's crispy on the outside, but then soft and, 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 and properly cooked on the inside. So that's what we got with these potatoes. Um, I had a upgrade with some pork on it. Oh wow, yeah, the pork is good too. Yes, well seasoned. Garlic and onion in there, you can taste it. It's savory. I gotta get a piece of toast or something. Josh, man, this is solid, bro. I gotta get something sweet to go with it, though. Oh yeah, man, whatever you need. What do you think, babe? Sweet potato pancake? Either that or you can do this stuff French toast. Stuff French toast. Stuff French toast. Yeah, it's like the brioche bread with marshmallow cream in the middle. Yeah. Um, powdered sugar, coconut, vanilla cream. Stuff French toast, man. Stuff. Ooh, that's coming. Oh my god. 
right? It's got a great flaky crust where they pan fried it. That toast, it tastes like creme brulee or tres yeah. leche. Like tres leche. That's what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. It's because that mascarpone was put yeah. in the middle, man. They sandwiched it like a damn grilled cheese. Oh, wow. That's when you get in this warm and... Oh. The coconut gives it a whole nother dynamic, man. I mean, it's, it's coconutty. <laughs> the best way to say it, man, that coconut is... It's, uh, it's light, but deep. And when you throw in all, all this cream and... My goodness, caramel sauce and that mascarpone is is kind of has melted into the bread, and, mm -hmm. and you can even taste some of the egg from the egg wash. That is impressive. So I'm here with Andy uh, out front at Snooze, and, uh, and and I was just checking out like this, what I thought, uh-oh, we're in Addison, over by the Addison Airport. So I was checking out what I thought was like a random uh, 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 logo or design, and it looked like to me like a jack, like when you uh, when you were a kid and you played pickup jack. Exactly. That's what I thought it was, and I was like, what is that? So. Andy, uh, one of the community managers here, is going to explain to us. Andy, what, what is that all about? Well, that is our snooze compass. Each point stands for something. Our true north is you as a guest. You are our sole purpose for coming in this building. We just want to make sure that you come in here and have an amazing breakfast. Leave here with a great experience. The second one would be snoozers. Myself as a snoozer, we come in here and really embrace each other as family members. However, we can make the best out of each other. We really try to do that. Sustainability. 65% of our waste is compostable. 25 of it's recycled and only 10% of it sees a landfill. Next one would be community. Like I said, I'm the community manager here at Snooze Addison. We donate 1% of our sales away to our community partners and kind donations host in greater donation days for the greater good. Next one would be craveable. Our chefs work very hard four times throughout the year to create those passionate cocktails and those amazing entrees that you love to come in here and sit down and have passionate. Wow very passionate about everything we do here in the building we have bob which is best of the best again we bring out the best in each other we also have individuality every snoozer is told to embrace their most authentic self come in here with pink hair tattoos have a great time we're serving pancakes seven days a week from 6 30 to 2 30. man how long have you guys been out here andy I, this is my first time here man i've never my wife came home last week with some sweet potato pancakes oh, and i one was of my like favorites. i was like what the hell is this this is awesome so we've, she was like today we got to go back so um so how long have y'all been here we've been here since may 23rd 2018 our grand opening day was june 6 2018 okay. almost two, coming up on two and a half years almost two and a half years okay and so where y'all based i mean are you guys based here in dallas or we are based in denver colorado off of a uh, 2262 Lemire Street. Okay. Downtown Denver, Colorado, right down the wow. way from the Coors Stadium. Nice. Denver, Colorado. Okay, good deal, good deal. So, man, um, what, what else you want people to know about Snooze, man? I mean, like I said, this is our, my first time here. I'm definitely coming back. Serving up fresh cocktails, breakfast, brunch, lunch, whatever you want. This is the most important meal that you're going to have today. So, how are we customizing it for you? Awesome, man. Man, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I appreciate that. you. Yeah, that's solid, man. That's legit. Smith experience kind of sore with the Smith list and we're back in business and this did ah, 